Good day, RGV. Today on Valley Por Vida, we are visited by a very special guest here in the studio. She's a Tejano music superstar, and she is talking to us today about some really exciting things. Now, we're also going to be talking about the benefits of music education for students. And we've got an all new fun with food segment, plus tips and tricks for first time cooks in the kitchen. All of that and so much more today. The show starts right now. Alright, thanks again so much for joining us today. I'm your host, Danielle Bonda. Now, you must pay attention extra carefully to today's show, okay, because we are bringing you one amazingly special guest for you to meet. We're talking about none other than American Tejano music superstar, Elida Reina. Now, she's, of course, an American Tejano music sing singer, and her band, Elida Reina y Avante, also known as Elida y Avante, is a Latin Grammy award-winning Tejano band, and we not only love her for sharing her talents you know with the world but of course she's also very actively involved in our local Rio Grande Valley community efforts now you've sung along to all of her hits you saw her you know work unfold at Elida Fest 2022 last weekend and now she's joining us in studio to tell us all about her recent endeavors for the benefit of students music education and she's also working uh, with the city of Mercedes to make this happen among other partners and it's absolutely Absolutely, uh, it's, it's amazing just to have her here at the studio with us. So without further ado, please welcome Elida Reina. So how are you? I'm wonderful. Thank you for having me. Oh, it is our pleasure. People are so excited that you're going to be on the show. Thank so, you. I mean, first of all, we, we need to catch up with you. How have you been? How's life? What have you been up to? Well, um, you know, I've been performing now for, believe it or not, 30 years, uh, 30 years in the music industry. Who would have thought? Uh, I really didn't imagine that I would still be um, doing what I love. This I'm so passionate about it. And I've been so blessed. Uh, we've won two Grammys. We have won 39 Tejano Music Awards. Wow. And I feel so blessed. Um, the city of Mercedes, my hometown, has given me so much. And so in return, it's time to give back to the community. It's, uh, it's about paying it forward. And, and so we decided, my husband and I and uh, our friend Rick Ramos, uh, who's also the promotions manager behind Elida Fest, which is what we're going to be uh, promoting. Yeah. Um, we have a big festival coming up, and we have humongous bands performing. We have David Lee Garza, Grupo Signo, <laughs> uh, the Tex Maniacs, Los Morales Brothers, and of course, yours truly, Elida Reina, performing. And this is our first annual. But the reason why I wanted to do something like this was, again, to give back to my community of, of the city of Mercedes, um, and of course, to bring in people that have never been to the Rio Grande Valley because we have traveled throughout the world, believe it or not, because we've um, we've also played for the troops. We've gone to Guam. We've wow. gone to Korea. We've gone all over the world to Europe. And um, people really do love Tejano music, believe it or not. Um, but a lot of people assume that I'm from San Antonio because I was born <laughs> there, but they don't know that I was raised here in the Rio Grande Valley. Wow. And, and that's something that I'm so proud of. And everywhere I go, I always make sure that I recognize um, this beautiful you know, Rio Grande Valley, um, this area that we live in, it's so beautiful. And so we're inviting everybody to come out, not only um, our Valleyites, of course, which um, are coming to Elida Fest, but we're also having people come from all over. We have people coming from Florida, Arizona, yeah. um, Washington State, uh, to be a part of Elida Fest. But most importantly, the reason why we wanted to create Elida Fest was because we want to give away two scholarships uh, for students for uh, Mercedes um, High School. Uh, we're going to be, of course, um, the proceeds are going towards a scholarship for uh, a music scholarship. Wow. And, of course, an academic scholarship. And then we also um, want to do something that, like I've always said, we're not recreating the wheel. Yeah. Um, there are already schools here in the Valley that are already implementing this curriculum, and that is a Conjunto Tejano curriculum in their schools. Amazing. So basically, they would be going from math class to a Conjunto Tejano class. Um, and we want to make this... Uh, possible for the kids here in the Mid Valley area. So why not start in my hometown? And even though I'm just one person, I'm hoping that I can make 
a big difference in, in a student's life. And what I want, what we're planning to do is, with the proceeds of uh, Belida Fest, um, we're going to be getting together. We need accordions, we need bajo sextos, we need guitars and all that yeah. good stuff so that these students can start learning um, the basics of what Conjunto Tejano music is, is yeah. all about. Absolutely, and people love that you're doing this, Thank especially you. you know the kiddos. Maybe sometimes they struggle with a certain subject; they don't want to go to school for whatever reason. That was me. I you mean, know? yeah, and yeah. now they want to. They have something to look forward to. Right, definitely. I I know that had I have had a curriculum like this, I would have definitely gravitated towards it. Yeah. Um, fortunate for me, I was in marching band, and so I really, really enjoyed that, yeah. and I was able to learn a lot from there. That got me to the next uh, level or the next step, which was. Um, of course, that's when I met my band at, at the University of Pan American at, with the Mariachi, wow. which is another beautiful program. But we're hoping to, to start something new here. Like I said, uh, trickle effect, uh, somewhat of a domino effect, so to speak. It's already They're already doing it in Brownsville in Los Fresnos. They're already doing it um, in the McAllen area in some areas, um, La Jolla. Okay. And so now we're hoping to do it here in the Mid Valley. Um, and then, of course, a lot of these kids actually go to UIL competitions, believe it or not. But our goal in all of this is for them to learn to love the culture of our music and where it comes from. Yeah. Um, and, and so that they know how rich in culture the valley is. You know, we have, you know, this is where Narciso Martinez comes from, Ruben Vela yeah. and Ramon Ayala as well. So, you know, it's, it's a little bit of everything. It's Tejano, it's Conjunto. Um, and uh, Tejano, of course, is, is my, you know, basically what got me started. And yeah. uh, one of the artists that, that inspired me was Laura Canales. Wow. And so we're hoping that with the music and everything, who knows, we may have another um, Jesse Turner from Grupo Signo on our hands. I mean, it's just a matter of showing the kids, uh, you know, just the, basic, uh, the basics, and then they basically um, can can learn from, from the, that experience of being within a, you know, in a band and they have a concert setting. Um, and we're just excited to, to, to be doing something like this for the kids because they're so deserving of it. And maybe they're not interested in marching band or orchestra, but they might be interested in a curriculum where they teach them how to play uh, these instruments. Awesome, and we only have about 15 seconds left. Real sure. quick though, where can we follow you? Because we want to keep up with everything you're doing. <laughs> Thank you, they can go to our social media. We're all over, um, Elida Reina y Avante is our uh, fan page, and they can also go to my personal Elida Reina Instagram as well. Um, I just started a TikTok, awesome. and so we're basically on everything. Um, we also have an Elida, Fe Elida Fest uh, Facebook as well. So we, uh, again, this is not the first year we, we plan to do Elida Fest. We will have one next year around July 30th, God willing. And of course, we want to thank all our sponsors for making it possible and continue to, to just help the Valley grow, help, help our, our students grow. Yeah. Um, and, and that's what it's all about. Perfect. Well, we love you. We love everything you're doing for our students and for Thank the Valley. You. Thank you. And uh, we're, it's so important that you're here talking about this. Thank so. you so much. Absolutely. It's a pleasure to be here. Yay, you guys. We're so excited about this. And of course, we're going to try to continue the conversation about music. Uh, so let's just go ahead and learn a little bit more about some exciting ways that music education can benefit students and of course, everyone.